Hey guys, what is up? Stickboy here, back again for another reaction. And yeah, you guys read that title right. We're getting back into Ruby, Volume 5, and I'm going to do something tonight that I don't normally do, something that I always keep saying I'm not going to do, uh, but I think tonight's a good night for it, and that is going to be Binge Watch. Yeah, uh, I don't know exactly how many episodes right now that I'm going to get to, but I'm hoping for at least five. Um, out of season five. So, uh, needless to say, I don't need to waste a whole lot of time recapping. You guys know where we're at. Um, Team Ranger has been picked up. They've been taken to Mistral. Um, Crow has gotten the help that he needs. And we are about to venture to Haven Academy, as the title of this is called Welcome to Haven. So, uh, yeah, let's get into this. Let's don't waste any more time. This is Volume 5, Episode 1, Welcome to Haven. Here we go, and I do know uh, the first little line where he says, The City of Mistral. So hopefully I'll get a sync point there. If I don't get a sync point there, I do know the Volume 5 intro. I have heard the Volume 5 intro, so uh, it's actually really cool. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get into it. Here we go, in 3, 2, 1, play. City, Mistral. It's about right. time. It is, isn't it? Whose idea was it to walk again? And already well, looking at some did pretty optimals, good animation. Airships, really pretty uh, settlements. Oh, and you know, visuals here. And monsters that try to murder us. Yeah. We were fine. Only one of us almost died. Hey. <laughs> hey. Nice one, Ruby. <laughs> so, how much farther to Haven Academy? Almost there. I'd have figured I'd take you kids on the scenic crap. Yeah, it almost looks like y'all are in the sewer. I don't know how scenic that is, but... And we're gonna get our first look at... Okay! Awesome! That's certainly Interesting. something. <laughs> yes. Bender's hero sold just about anything, whether they should or not. Mm -hmm. They really made the most out of these mountains. Every yeah. inch. And stay away from the lower levels. But the higher up you go, the nicer it gets. Okay. And we are going up. Makes sense. And I'm guessing this is gonna be Weiss. So, how much farther? We're in the home stretch now. No more stops from here to yep. Mistral. Sorry for the long trip. Keeping us off the radar has been harder than I thought. Lots of air traffic around Northern Anima. It's fine. That shouldn't be that big of a I surprise, though. I hope I haven't been a burden. You a burden? <laughs> you and your money are more than welcome on this ship, kid. Well, I guess money doesn't hurt either. Is everything okay? I don't know. Still over Lake Monsu. Shouldn't be picking up broadcast this far from Mistra. Lake Monsu. Someone must be close. That must be that big body of water. Hey, we are small passengers. The head of that continent is down. We aren't equipped to deal with this. Oh, man. The Grim hit us 400 clicks north of the southern shoreline. Get him off us. If anyone can hear this. Well, that doesn't sound good. We're going to help them, right? What? No, I'm trying to avoid them. Hmm. But they'll die. Look, if well, we picked up their transmission, I'm sure someone else did too. Yeah, I'll say Besides, you're probably... This is a cargo ship. She's not much good in a fight. Well, that too. I just want to finish this job. But you're probably too late. And... Sorry, kid. My ship, my rules. Yeah, I mean... I don't want to sound... I don't mean to sound like heartless or insensitive, but... In a real life situation, that's probably that's probably realistic. You know, you you're not in a ship equipped to handle combat, and you're also a long ways off, and somebody's already in distress. You would they would they would need somebody closer by. So yeah. We made it. 
It wouldn't have hurt for him to put out a signal to someone else, though. Someone that might be closer. There doesn't seem to be to anyone you. here. Well, I guess school isn't really in session right now. Maybe that's it. I mean... No, this isn't right. Come on. I mean, if school's Wait, not in session, there, there wouldn't be anybody around. But Crow seems... Get ready. There could be trouble. Watch it be a fake out. Well, we don't know how much of a fake out that is because we do know that. Professor Lionheart? We do know that Lionheart's kind of in What's cahoots with the. Uh, nearly scared me half to death! Me? With what? Why weren't you waiting for us at the entrance? Although we don't know what to what. We don't oh, know to what right. extent. Apologies, I guess time slipped away from me. You're joking. Where is everybody? Ah, you must be the students Crow mentioned. Yes, sir. <laughs> Ruby Rose. Yeah. Jean Arc. Nor Valkyrie. Lyren. <laughs> Pleasure to meet you all. Leonardo Lionheart at your service. I'm afraid most of my staff is currently away until classes resume, but. What? Leo, you can't be serious. Who's guarding the relic? Hmm. Crow, the children already know. I feel yeah, the yeah, they what know. do you mean your staff is away? <laughs> You failed them in? Well, he kind of had to. So, is this not going at all like anyone thought it would? <laughs> no, it's not. I don't think. Well, I don't think it's going like they, the students, thought it would. Unbelievable! Total garbage! We can't, can't let, let them, them get, get away, away with this. this! Well, at least you two can finally agree on something. Hey, it's progress. <laughs> Guys. Everything's gonna be okay. I feel like I missed something. Good evening, miss. Can I get you anything? Just a little time to myself, if that's alright. Sure thing. Just call if you need me. Okay. <laughs> You need better security. Time to yourself, huh? Please, I, I just need to talk. Okay. How could you take the fall for them, Ilya? Like, Corsic and Finnick blamed you. We confronted them tonight and they denied knowing anything and everything we found on your scroll. It talked about how disappointed they were to hear that you'd sided with Adam. But you and I both know they're guilty. Oh, I didn't see Blake's character short, by the way. That scroll might not have been so. enough to lock them up, but it's enough to sway the faunas here. When we go public tomorrow, they're not going to stand for any of it. And it did get you. a little, did give a little more uh, insight onto uh, Blake and You're Ilya's relationship. Just leave Menagerie before it's too late. Hmm, I don't think she can do that. You're going to have to make me. Yeah. I know. Yeah, she can't... Ilya can't really betray... I have to say, Crow, this all seems very reckless. Even she can't really betray her leader. No. Reckless is leaving one of the relics completely unguarded. It's not checking in with Oz for ages. There was nothing to check in about mm -hmm. before the fall of Beacon. But since that day, Mistral has been in chaos. Well, now, if it was totally was unguarded, wouldn't Watts have just made off with it? Everyone was watching. Every house in every kingdom saw that poor girl ripped to pieces, saw monsters crawling over the city, Elysian knights attacking citizens. 
and then nothing. You could feel the tread in the air. Hey, that's the title of the next episode. Imagine what it was like when the grid came for us. Mistral's controlled territory is the widest reaching in the world, you know, and that makes it infinitely harder to protect. You know, we lost so many great huntsmen, teachers from this very institution, and it's only gotten worse. I know it's. What do you mean? We may have dealt with the Grim, but the Mistral Council's still at odds with representatives from Atmos. Hard to get a word in edgewise. Dust embargo. Now it's the closing of borders. I'm not sure what happened to James in Vale, but it seems to have only worsened some of his more unfortunate tendencies. And on top of everything, we still don't know where the Spring Maiden is. All the more reason we need the Huntsman and Huntress is mm. here. Okay, okay. Things are bad. They're bad. But we can figure this out. Why is the Spring Maiden so important? Yeah. Thought you filled them in. Mostly filled well, in. Well, look, yes. there's a lot to cover, okay? Yeah. I quit teaching for a reason. The four maidens each have the power to perform feats of magic. And they yeah. are the only ones capable of reaching the relics. What? Oh. The relics are each locked inside a chamber that can only be opened by a specific maiden. Winter for the gift of creation, summer for destruction, fall for choice, and spring for knowledge. So if only the maiden can spring open it, the problem. then what happened to her? Do they she really need to, to guard the relic? When she inherited her powers. But the weight of responsibility proved to be too much for the child. <coughs> she ran. Abandoned her training. Everyone. Hmm. That was is, over a Is Blake the spring maiden? There's no telling where she could be now. I know. Just kidding. But seriously. At least I have a pretty good idea. Are you serious? It's not exactly good news. What are you talking about? This is incredible news! After all these years, where? I did some oh, digging this is around. Probably not good. Looks like after Spring ran away, she was picked up by bandits. Specifically, the Brownwood tribe. Raven. Ooh. Okay. Yes, Mom? That's right. But the reason I said That's not good is that where they've set up their main camp. It's where they fall back to if, after raids and scouting missions. If Watts is in Ravens managed Lionheart's to gain a lot of ear. followers since she returned to the tribe, and I'm sure when the Spring Maiden showed up, it only made things easier. Well, Crow, I've got to hand it to you. With these coordinates, we can mount a retrieval force and head out in a few weeks. A few weeks. Right, Leo. Maybe you didn't hear me. My sister has the Spring Maiden, and I know where she is. We need to go as soon as possible. I don't and perhaps think throwing the books in the floor is going to help. This kingdom is in shambles. As soon as possible does not mean tomorrow. It means as soon as I can convince the rest of the council that I need huntsmen more than they do. Unfortunately, bandit tribes aren't very high on their list of priorities. Unfortunately, I think there's a council that I think there's a council you could convince a lot faster than a few weeks. And these kids aren't exactly pushovers. Yeah. Perhaps there's a more peaceful way to approach this. We need to get the spring as far away from here as possible. The Raven isn't going to give up her most prized possession without a fight. Unfortunately, you and your sister are evenly matched, well, and I'm not the fighter I used to. No offense, but these students and I can't take on an entire bandit tribe and a maiden that's no doubt had years to hone her skills. We need to be positive we can apprehend Spring, because if we fail, Raven and her tribe will scatter, and we'll be lost. 
Well, now, one shot at this. And it needs maybe I'm missing further. something here, but if Spring is the only one who can open the vault, and the relic needs to stay in the vault, perhaps you're right. Why do we need Spring here? Doesn't the vault just stay sealed if Spring doesn't show up and the relic is safe? Do you have anything on them? We pulled their files after the fall of Beacon. Nothing but lies and forgeries. Hmm. That's not surprising. Well, and yeah, I'm sure John doesn't like that very much. I'm sorry. I know you've all traveled a long way. But I will do everything I can to help. Sure. We'll stay in the city for the time being. Local comms are still up. Keep in touch. Come on, kids. Yeah, how do we know that him giving away those coordinates didn't just give coordinates right directly to the right. enemy? I'm just not sure why we need the Spring Maiden. Excuse me. If we want the, like I said, if we want the relic to stay safe, you know, to stay I don't think in the vault. Kids in here, Pipsqueak. Shut up! I'm getting there. Um. Oh, this is I'm the scene from the you. end of Volume Four. For that little. I'd like my cane back. Yeah, the little trailer at the end. I was under the impression that this had already happened, but... It's good to see you again, Oz. <laughs> Apparently... Sorry. Apparently it was just a... Just a preview. Just right. Hey, was that Yang's bike? Aren't you a little under the awning? drinking? <laughs> oh, why? Maybe. Maybe. It's hot out. Oh. Sure. Practical. <laughs> Are you telling me you're too young to drink? That's what she you said. You look like a regular huntress. And a beauty at that. I'm good. Thanks, pal. <sighs> Seriously, you uh, not too bulky. Are you sure you want to lean your just right? Yep, like I said, I'm good. Are you sure you want to mess with her and your hair? Don't touch the hair. <gasps> yeah. Nice. Went all slapstick on that one. This one's on the house. He's been driving me crazy. Ooh. So, what brings you around these parts? <laughs> Wait for it. Thanks. Dang, all in one go. And I'm uh, looking for someone. <laughs> Not many people come out here. Too far and who are you looking for? Because I'm completely confused. Right? Around here is, well, Raven. Raven Bronwyn. Ah. Thanks again. Because yeah. Now, now, Missy, you don't want to go messing with bandits. At first, I thought yeah, she was going for Blake, and then it's like, oh no, she's going for so Ruby, I'm and then like, I'm thinking about it, and I'm just like, well, no, because <laughs> Raven's in Mistral too, so. 
or same continent as Mistral. Hey, girly. Seriously? This isn't over? <laughs> I heard you're looking for someone. Let me guess, you're a bandit. Guess he I guess he found his way in, huh? The bandit dude that is. And who do we have here? Oh. It's you. They have no idea who he is. Um, yeah, is there a ruby rose here? There is. Why? <laughs> yeah, who wants well, to know? I found him! <laughs> I think her uncle could use some help. Whoa. <laughs> well, I found him. looks like he's good now. Comics are important. Crow, did you get drunk again? Maybe. It would appear that way. You have silver eyes. <laughs> yeah, I get that a lot. Who are you? Uh, uh, well, my name is Oscar Pine. <laughs> yeah, where do I begin? You probably know me as Professor Ospen. Hmm. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> He'll be fine. There's that intro, which is actually the outro, but will be the intro. Back to the show, back to the walls, and there's nowhere to go. That's all I have memorized. Get worse. I know these intros show some things that you know that are to come, but I do need to kind of sort of know the intro to sync the audio, so. Raven and Yang. Weiss with her summoning. Oh, is that Rihanna and Nora going after Hazel? And Yang going after Mercury? fight Cinder, and is the team going to be reunited? It's definitely some foreshadowing there. Oh, yeah. Haven Academy is uh, not in good shape. Alright, so, yeah, like I said, um, I, I'm, I feel like I'm missing something, because I'm just thinking logically, I'm thinking logically about this, Crow said that, and, and Lionheart, both of them said that, uh, you know, the only way the vault can be opened is if that particular maiden comes and does something to open it, like, like that maiden is the only one that can open that vault. So the spring maiden is the only one that can open Haven's vault. So if they want the relics to stay sealed up and away from the enemy, 
I would think that they would want the spring maiden as far away from there as possible. If she's the only one that can open that vault, I mean, don't we just want to keep that sealed? Or do they need the relics to fight the enemy? And, you know, because I don't know... You know, I don't, I don't know if the bigs are planning anything yet. But, uh, yeah. <coughs> I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about this cough. I just, whatever, uh, whatever bug I had last week, or I guess week before last now, uh, I got over it, but it just kind of left me with this cough that doesn't seem to want to go away. So it's kind of annoying, uh, and I know it's probably annoying to listen to, but I'll try to I'll try my best to keep it under control here. Uh, anyway, we're going into uh, Volume Five, Episode Two. This is Dread in the Air, as uh, Lionheart said. So uh, let's get into it. In three, two, one, play. All right. Back to the fairy tale. Back to the show. Back to the walls and the snow blade. Nowhere to go. Whatever. I don't really have it that memorized. Okay, I, like, watched it all the way through once. I didn't, like, you know. I didn't put it on my MP3 player or anything. find out more about Raven. And yeah, preferably some more about Ospin's connection with uh, Ospin. You know, how he's able to transcend bodies, basically. And yeah, it would be really cool to see the, the team reunited. We'll see. We'll see if it happens. Oh boy. Are we yeah, ready? We're, yeah, we're to this. So what exactly is going on here? a sense from Lionheart that he's not a willing participant in this. Oh god, that thing. After you. Your grace. Are you there? I would say she is. Hello, Leonardo. Do you have something to report? Of course, ma'am. I would not waste your time if not. I'm still just so fascinated by this creature. Uh, Cinder, dear, are, are we coming through? Can you see us clearly? Well, as clearly as you can. Shut up. Oh, goody. You've recovered. Your report. He's such what a douche. I... I found the Spring Maiden. Is that so? Well done. Arthur. Had I known how useful you'd be in expediting this process, I would have sent you long, long ago. Mm -hmm. As much as I'd love to take credit, ma'am, I can't say that either of us have to thank for this development. I guess you could say a little birdie told us. Explain. Yeah. You see, ma'am, Crow Bronwyn arrived at Haven Academy earlier today. He believes Spring has taken residence with his sister's tribe. Is the girl with him? She is. Yes, Miss Rose was in attendance. And you know of the tribe's location? Yes, ma'am. But you have to hurry. Crow is already at odds with my... Leonardo, do you remember... 
remember the first time we met. I remember. I remember your fear. But since that day, you've been extraordinarily brave. I won't forget all that you've done for me. Do not forget everything I can do to you. I thought she was going to take him out right there. Cinder, you and your team will meet with Dr. Watts and together convince Raven Bronwyn that the survival of her people depends on her cooperation. Once you have Spring under control, escort her to the Relic and contact Hazel. The White Fang was promised the destruction of Haven, and they'll have it once we have what we need. Understood. Not you, Arthur. Tyrion's in need of a new tale. What happened huh. to his old one? Guess. The silver-eyed girl. Mm. It will be done. Good. Seems Crow was right, Lionheart. The students aren't pushovers. You're free to speak huh. your mind. <laughs> I don't I mean, understand. Choose you your words carefully. Making bandits? Keeping Ruby alive? What's the point? We're strong enough to take what we want by force. Never underestimate the usefulness of others. Take Leonardo. He was one of Ospin's most trusted. And yet now. Hmm. You will have the power I promised you when the time is right. But remember that it comes with a cost. If Ruby Rose has learned to harness her gift, then you must take care to protect yours. There's mm. only so much I can do to aid you. That's one thing that the uh, that's one thing the uh, protagonists have before you go, going for us. That, that I wish to have a word with him. Is, is that uh, Salem doesn't know how green, if you will, Ruby is with her, with her abilities. Hmm, this looks sketchy. Nowhere good. Passing by some of Lake Matsu's floating islands. The gravity dust that forms in these things has given us a little turbulence. Nothing I can't handle, but the islands sometimes hide some nasty grim. Of course. I'm just betting on our friends in distress. Hey, keeping watch out the there at three o'clock. Look out! Huh? You've got to be kidding me. That was random. Oh my God, we lost Percy. R.I.P. Percy. What do we have here? We're hooked! We're hooked! Everyone up in the ship! We have Hornet Grimm with, uh... With explosive stingers, apparently. And you guys are next. Freaking Lancers. All right, buckle up. Lancers, huh? Why doing? buckle up? We should have done in the first place. You're carrying dust, right? Officially, no. Actually, yes. <laughs> then when I tell you, open the rear door. Need a good shot at him. I thought you said that ship was no good in a fight. That thing's got some moves. Yeah. Freaking fighter jets can't do a climb like that. Kid, we're coming you close. Ready. Why 
Mice, you're gonna need like a. Hold on. You're gonna need something bigger. I've played enough role-playing games to know that this this battle needs an area of effect spell, not a single target. Yeah, you can only shoot at the ones that you can see out the back door. I got an idea. Hold on. Literally. Again. If this is just a cargo ship, and it's no good in a fight, what, what kind of move do the fighters have? What kind, of, what kind of maneuverability do the fighters have? These bastards must be able to, like, teleport or something. Well, that was convenient. Just gonna fly through this rock slide and miss every one of them, but all of the all of the hornets are gonna get hit, except one apparently. It's a queen lancer. What? These are really determined. Uh, this is a really determined hive here. Why would the queen leave the hive? That's the completely defeats the purpose of having a queen. Do something. She's trying. Okay, just gonna throw all the dust at it. To no effect whatsoever. I can see the shoreline. God, we're not gonna make it. <laughs> well, I don't know what she's got up her sleeve, but the music's starting up, so. Summon. Alright, let's see what this can do. Got him, but just a little bit too late. Well, this can't be good. Huh? Or... That nah, still didn't help. Adam. Okay, so Weiss may Not have been able to survive that on Aura, but... So I want you to listen when I tell you that the White Fang will not attack Haven Academy. Hi, Leader Khan, I am mm. begging you. You should beg for forgiveness and nothing else. Got a confrontation between, uh... The assault you led on Beacon was not the great victory you clearly think it was. Between Adam and, and you the should be grateful your punishment White wasn't more severe. You are a symbol for many in our organization. That doesn't make you infallible. I was merely trying to follow your example. 
high leader. And what example might that be? Yeah. Strength. Strength and unwavering conviction. The humans have seen that strength now. I was one of the first to suggest violence where violence was necessary. Peace bred complacency, an acceptance of our place in the world. I will not allow humanity to push us down without pushing them back. But the destruction of the Huntsman Academies crosses a line. The loss of the CCT has brought global communication to a crawl, and the White Fang is more of a target now than ever before. You have justified humanity's campaign against us. And for what? Empty promises from a group of humans? Humans we still know nothing about, and come and go as they please. These are not examples of strength, Adam. <clears throat> they are examples of your talents being diminished by short-sightedness. If you want to know more well... about the humans, then why not talk to one of them yourself? I think the problem with Adam Hazel. is that he's more in cahoots with humans than he is with uh, Faunus. Took you long enough. What is this? Apologies. Speaking of... I don't aim to cause any trouble. You've brought a human to this location? You should hear what he has to say. This is grounds for execution. Ma'am, please. Nobody needs to die today. I'm just asking for a moment of your time. The longer you stay here, the less of a chance you have of leaving alive. I didn't catch her name. I'll take those chances, <laughs> if yeah. you don't mind. Yeah, somehow I don't think she can... I don't think she can take him down. He's on that Legion of Doom Council. He's you don't no like one me. to be screwed with. You have no reason to like me. But you don't have to like me to get the results you want. I'm starting to doubt either of you fully comprehend what it is that I want. I want humanity to fear the Faunus. To know that we demand respect. I do not want to I start a war with both... the humans that we cannot win. I think Adam knows That's exactly what she wants, but wrong. he's not... He's just not in cahoots with her. He's got his own agenda. We can win a war against the humans. Not only because we have the support of <clears throat> Hazel's master, but because the Faunus are the dominant species of this planet. We're better than humans. We have everything humans have and more. Humans shouldn't just fear the Faunus. They should serve the Faunus. It's really ironic because Adam is not a Faunus. I've had enough of this conversation for tonight. Guards. Take them away. I said take them away. I will admit, Sienna. Sienna. You're right about my popularity. That's her name. My followers in Vale already see me as the true high leader. And many here in Mistral feel the same. Hmm. What's right for the Faunus? From this day for forward, the Faunus? I will be the one to lead the White Fang. I do not think Adam has the Faunus you best. Think I'll just step aside and follow beneath you. You're wrong. <laughs> yeah, I know. Let's... Thank you. Sienna, you were there when our people needed you, but they need me now. I'm sorry you couldn't see this through to the end. Give our former leader a proper burial. All who were here tonight will claim that Sienna was murdered by a human huntsman. Sienna Khan will become a martyr for our cause. Her final act as High Leader. Man. You are a piece of work. Dude, even Hazel didn't like that. 
When were you planning on telling me about that? This was my business, not yours. It's our business now, and I don't appreciate you withholding things like that. Your master was concerned with Sienna's willingness to cooperate. Now she doesn't have to be. Nobody needed to die today. I... disagree. Clearly. seems kind of weak. What do you though. think? She, I she think. seems, uh... Oh! We just hit the jackpot. Does she know who that is? I'm guessing Weiss's aura is down. Okay. I'm guessing Weiss's aura is gone from surviving that crash. I'm also guessing that the pilot did not survive that crash. Okay, man, it's just uh, it's no good, no good at all. Uh, yeah, Sienna, uh, that, that, that leader, that white thing, like, like I, I knew her name for like a minute and a half before she died. Uh, yeah, Adam is, Adam is, yeah, he's, he's, uh, no good. Uh, no good at all, and I, I don't know, you know, I, I just, I don't know what his end game is. Because, you know, there was one point where it flashed back uh, with Cinder, uh, you know, to where Cinder propositioned him to join her cause. And Adam didn't seem all that willing. She, uh, Cinder kind of put him in a position where he couldn't refuse, uh, you know, where she was just going to take him down. Uh, if he didn't cooperate, so, uh, and and now, he's, uh, you know, he's pushing this agenda to the point where another one of Salem's henchmen didn't even, uh, didn't even agree with his, with his motives, you know, with his uh, plans, I guess. So it's really confusing to me uh, exactly what he's going, you know, exactly what he's got going on that, you know, even the guy that I would have expected he was, uh, I would have expected him to be uh, under the leadership of, um, didn't, didn't know what was about to happen. So, uh, yeah, um, I am going to take a really quick break, and then I'm going to come right back. So, uh. Uh, you won't actually see me take a break. I'll be back instantly, but uh, yeah, I'll be back in just a minute. And I'm back. Yeah, that actually didn't take very long at all. I just, you know, needed a bottle of water. I forgot to get one before I started this little marathon, and uh, I forgot to encourage you guys to do the same. So uh, let's get into episode three. Uh, let's go ahead and pull this up. And let's go ahead and pull my folder up, and here we go. This is going to be unforeseen complications. Well, I think that um, yeah, a lot of these complications were uh, very much unforeseen um, by uh, the characters, by our protagonists. Um, maybe somewhat foreseen by the audience, but uh, I don't know. There was some stuff that I didn't see coming either. So. Let's get into this. Uh, this is episode three. Let's go ahead and get that set at the very beginning. 
And here we go, guys, in three, two, one, play. Back to the fairy tale, back to the show. Back to the wall and there's nowhere to go. So another intro that's uh, pretty, pretty dark, pretty grim, like kind of along the same line as the the volume three intro. Let's see if Yang manages to harness that semblance of hers. And will Ruby be able to harness her power? Because she hasn't really even addressed it yet. Alright, so we're back to Blake and company. Pacing. Uh, is he finding out that Sienna is dead? Yes. It won't be easy for the people to hear, but the truth often isn't. I know they'll do the right thing. Oh, he is he putting together a... Mm -hmm. You've got this. Is he putting together a... a speech? So he still has... He still has leadership here, apparently. Thank you all for assembling here. I wanted to take time to address some of the rumors that have been circulating around our island. I believe that it is important for the people of this territory to understand the truth. No matter how you feel about the human race, I think we can all agree that the event now known as the Fall of Beacon was a tragedy. A tragedy that will set both man and Faunus kind back. While the main aggressor is still unknown, we do have official confirmation that Adam Taurus the leader of a powerful splinter group working inside the White Fang mm -hmm. was partially responsible for these attacks. I would say he was largely not only responsible. The reputation of an organization originally created to bring peace and equality to all, but to our entire race. With each day that this man remains unpunished, it becomes increasingly difficult to condemn those that look down upon us. Those guys in the hood. Recently, are sketchy. spy from the same splinter group set their sights on this very home. My own daughter Blake and her friend did their very best to apprehend this individual. While they were unsuccessful after being physically assaulted and seriously injured, they were successful in obtaining the assailant scroll. With this, we have been able to ascertain that Adam Taurus has plans to overthrow the current leader of the White Fang, Sienna Khan and take over the reins himself. So he doesn't know that Adam has already succeeded the in that. plans do not stop there. The documents on this scroll proclaim his next target to be Haven Academy and its attached CCT tower. Their plan is to strike on the last full moon before the beginning of the fall semester, roughly two months from today. Mm -hmm. I have sent my swiftest messenger to the government of Mistral, but I believe we have a greater responsibility. My relationship with the White Fang has been an interesting one. Years ago, 
I led the organization to help try and create a world where I and every Faunus who wished could walk alongside the human race. And while I believe we made great strides toward this goal, it was made clear to me that the people both in and out of the White Fang wanted faster results. So I stepped down, and Sienna Khan was appointed as my successor. Okay. It's true that I do not fully condone many of her methods. What I do <clears throat> condone is what Sienna fights for. The idea that the Faunus and humans are, and should be, equal. Adam Taurus does not seem to have that goal in mind. What he no. has done benefits no one but himself. I think it's time that the Faunus showed the world that we are equals. Time that we snuff out this splinter group and restore the White Fang to what it once was. Okay. To do this, I think the answer is clear. We must go to Haven and protect it at all costs. Uh, yeah, about that. Before we proceed any further, I'd like to invite my daughter to come and share her story. Not only as a former member of the White Fang, but also as a survivor of the Fall of Beacon. You can do this. Traitors! Yelia. Cowards. After everything the humans have done to us, everything they've put us through, you're asking us to help them? I know we haven't been treated fairly. Where was their help when the dust companies treated our people like slaves? Where was their help when kingdoms hunted Faunus just for being who they are? Where yeah. was my help when my parents were killed in a dust mine? Where? Young well, lady, if you want progress equality takes and cooperation, the Belladonnas are the worst kind of Faunus. They want us to work with the same people that are trying to hold us down. If you truly, truly want to help your people, now is the time to support Adam, not the Belladonnas. He will bring about the future that you deserve. And if you are unwilling to fight, Know that the White Fang will do it for you! Shut up! I don't think... After her! I don't think she knows uh, what Adam's all about. Did he age backwards? He's possessed! Or reincarnated. Oh, isn't it weird? It's all of the above. It is very weird, yes. Okay, okay. Let's all just take a second and remember that this is very overwhelming for everyone. Glad to see you've sobered up there, Crow. <laughs> Thanks. Now you clearly know how this works. Uh, you, sorry. You didn't seem it's surprised just, at all. I've never met huntsmen and huntresses before. Well, uh, we've never met a person with two souls, so That's fair. first times all around. <laughs> Not to break up the whole getting to know you game, but we need to have a talk. Mind showing us your yeah. little parlor trick, kid? Yeah, okay. Just so you know, I'll still be here. It is so very good to see you again, students. Interesting. Wait. What just happened? Professor... Osman? <laughs> Correct. You guys... Though I may be the one speaking, Oscar is still present mentally. He's merely handed over you the... You guys didn't believe him, did you? Just don't make us do anything embarrassing. I'm afraid this all must be very perplexing. And alarming, and bizarre, and just really kind of hard to believe overall. 
<laughs> Clearly. It's good to see you children still have your sense of humor. I know you've all been through tremendous hardship already. I'm sorry. I mean, it's not your fault. It's all my fault. I told you once that I made more mistakes than any man, woman, and child on this planet. And I wasn't exaggerating. I'm cursed. For thousands of years I have walked the surface of Remnant, living, dying, and reincarnating in the body of a like-minded soul. The Professor Osby you all met was not my first one. Clearly wasn't my last. Right. It's an extraordinarily strenuous process on everyone involved. So who, what are you? I am the combination of countless men who have spent their lives trying to protect the people of Remnant. With every rebirth, my soul is eventually merged with another, and I am changed. But my memories stay with me. This curse was bestowed upon me by the gods because I failed to stop Salem in the past. But we must stop her now. So how's Salem been? What is Salem? How do we do that? We start by ensuring the safety of the relic of knowledge. Because that means that Salem's been around for centuries also. <laughs> well, well, well. <coughs> Look who's awake. <laughs> what? What's going on? Where am I? You know... I never thought I'd see a Schnee in this camp. Renal? Is that our spring maiden? Because that's definitely not Raven. What do you want? Straight to the point. I like it. We don't normally deal in trafficking people, not really worth our time. But once we realized we had a Schnee, that changed. You're going to ransom me back to my father. Is that it? It's a shame you're a Schnee. You'd probably do quite well around here. Yeah. Yeah, she probably would. I would never sink to her level. Just keep quiet well, and cooperate, that. and you'll be back in your mansion before you know it. But she doesn't want to be back in her mansion. Don't make this complicated. What's going to make this complicated is when my sister finds out that I didn't make it to Mistral. You know my sister, don't you? And Winter Schnee, special operative of the Atlas military. She's in Mistral now, and when she hears I'm missing, it won't take her long to find me. And you. <laughs> and in typical cartoon fashion, she could slip right through the bars. What's so funny? <laughs> oh, I don't know if it's more funny or sad. But you're clearly out of the loop. Your sister isn't in Mistral anymore. No Atlas personnel are in Mistral anymore. General Ironwood closed the borders and recalled all of his little troops in tin cans. No one is coming to rescue you. <laughs> <laughs> Unless Yang shows up. This is perfect! We were stuck at a dead end, but now we can just take little cute boy Osman to Lionheart and have <laughs> six things straight. Please don't call me that. Yeah, we're not sure that's the best idea. Uh, but it's definitely I the headmasters all took their orders from you. It's definitely that not was the, best the intention. Idea. For lieutenants I can trust, especially during times of reincarnation. But Crow told me about your meeting with Leonardo. 
He isn't just behaving irrationally. He's disobeying specific instructions I had left him. Something's wrong. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I don't want to rule out any possibilities either. No one outside of this room knows that I have paired with Oscar, and I think it may be best to keep it that way. Play things close to the chest until we got a better hand. Yeah. Precisely. So now I we have two steps sense. ahead of us. The first is enlisting the aid of more huntsmen. But the Mistral Council doesn't are... own every huntsman in the kingdom. And I've been here enough times to know where we can find some more. I bet. As long as they're trustworthy. <laughs> you can trust them to put up a good fight. I'll throw together a list tonight. Good job. Good luck with that. After that, we can move on to step two. What's step two? <laughs> I'll tell you Getting later. you four into fighting shape. Well, okay. But we already know how to fight. You can only no. fight so long as you have Crescent Rose, but you're still lacking in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Well, uh, yeah. Very much so. Mr. Ark, I'm glad to hear you've improved. I saw the Yang character short, to too. Your All of you still have a ways to go before you're ready to pose any real threat against Salem and her forces. And though Oscar can give me temporary control, we'll need to strengthen his body and his aura. Wait, what? We'll inherit my muscle memory in time. But practice will expedite the process. But if Crow's out looking for huntsmen, then who's going to teach us? Huh? Well, I think I Oscar knows a few things. We have approximately one month before classes resume. <laughs> If Salem works, I think Ruby's attack, the only one that sense seems that happy about that. Students return. It's not much time, but it's better than nothing. Just don't expect me to go easy. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> yeah, how long before that merger takes place? Completely. Uh, just hang in there, Wise. Also, yeah, you're gonna get that aura back eventually. Can that possibly cut the uh, ropes that are tying you up? I mean, we've seen that sword functional in that way before, you know, with the uh, with the uh, Queen Lancer. So I can't imagine why it wouldn't work on ropes. All right. Well, we're just gonna go right on into uh, episode four. Yeah, episode four, lighting the fire. So, lighting the fire would be, that could mean a lot of things. I mean, we've got Ozpin about to um, start training Team Ranger. That could light the fire for them to learn to fight. We could also have, uh, I mean, Adam's pretty much already lit the fire under the White Fang. I, I just don't think the White Fang knows it yet. Um, and of course, uh, you know, Blake and her family could, you know, get everything going. But hey, you know what? It could mean a whole lot of things. And the last time I made what seemed like really educated guesses, I was completely wrong on all fronts. So let's just, uh, let's just pull this thing up and find out, shall we? It's going to be a long video. And I'm going to get at least one more episode after this one. If, uh, you know if my computer will cooperate with me. Alright, here we go. This is episode four, lighting the fire in three, two, one, play. Back to the fairy tale, back to the show, back to the wall and there's nowhere to go. Things looking bleak and they're bound to get worse.
So Austin, his whatever he is, was was a human that was cursed so that his soul would never die and just keep moving from body to body. Or I don't know. It's it's still kind of confusing. Carrying the bandit dude. How much further, pal? This should just about do it. Yeah. Just carry you it here. Carried her I'll off in the middle sure of nowhere. Is clear. Can she trust him? I mean, clearly she can kind of handle herself, but. I mean, only to an extent, right? I can't believe you were dumb enough to let me lead you here. Uh huh. She could probably handle them. Is this everyone? <laughs> yes, little lady. This is it. Well, unless you count the whole rest of the camp back that way. That way. Huh? Yes, that way. Good to know. Okay, that's all the information she needs, right? Now to pay me back for this tooth, we're gonna take your bike. And you're gonna take your lumps. Okay. You got the jump on me last time, sweetheart. You really ought to think twice about fighting all... All right. Get her! Good luck, guys. This guy right here is going to be lucky if Yang doesn't just take him apart. That's about how I expected that to go. Raven finds out what you did, you're dead. Take him out. Possibly, but I doubt it. I'm her daughter, after all. Yeah, I guess he didn't know that. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> you're lucky you're not dead now, dude. Yeah! She, she held back. <laughs> I wasn't kidding. Oscar's picking up on this stuff fast. Yeah. Yeah, Ruby's got to learn hand to hand. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Yeah. That was just a slap. Yes, I did it. No. Oscar, you forgot to engage your aura again. Why didn't you tell me? Because this method makes you less likely to forget. Fair enough. Mind if I give it a shot? Oh boy. Not bad, Miss Rose. But Oscar doesn't have the years of training that you do. Or I do. Oh, uh, uh, well, maybe we should uh, take a break. <laughs>
The next time you want to throw a left cross, remember to push off with the appropriate foot. And as always, do be aware of any openings. Got it! <sighs> huh? Hey, are you okay? How is this so exhausting? <laughs> Your body isn't used Poor to guy. this kind of training. Not to mention generating a defensive aura on your own. It takes intense concentration at first, but in time it will become second nature, allowing you to deflect attacks and gradually heal your wounds. After that, you can begin focusing on your semblance, whatever that may be. Semblance? You know, like your very own superpower. Everybody's got one. It's just a matter of finding it and mastering it. Ruby moves super fast. Electricity makes me stronger. Ren can mask emotions, and John can. Um... <laughs> I can't do it. John's like you. S sore subject. He hasn't found his someone's yet, but we all know he will, and you will too. We all just have to try and help each other get stronger. Cool. A common philosophy is that a warrior's semblance is a part of who they are. I'm actually glad they're explaining some this again because and character can define your semblance. While it's some claim still that it's the other way around. A little of bit course, fuzzy to there me. There are still many who don't see a connection at all. It's hard to know when you know. Sometimes, Ren's semblance was unlocked from intense stress, and mine kicked in during training one day. What about you? Oh, struck by lightning, didn't die. <laughs> Thursday. That, yeah, that, that, that'll do it. I understand what's wrong with me. I train, I meditate. Don't worry, Mr. Ock. Your journey is far from over. And the same might be said for all of you. Unlocking your semblance isn't the end. It can still grow and evolve. Providing you're willing to put in the work, who knows what could happen. Then let's get back to it. <laughs> you guys look rough. Just saying. <laughs> That's going to be a really interesting discovery for Yang when she realizes Weiss is there, and, and vice versa. Yeah, about these ropes. Or the bars. All right, let's see this meeting. Mom. Yang. So, after all this time, you finally decided to visit me. No, it wasn't easy. You know that I searched for you. I spent years looking for you. And you found me. You were patient, determined, and strong enough to make your dream a reality. Well done, Yang. But did you have to be so rough with my men? I didn't want to Actually, she did. They started it. Well, you certainly finished it. Right. I would say she I'm held sure back. I'm sure this is all very overwhelming. Against your But men. I must admit that you've proven yourself. So any questions you have, I'll be happy to answer. You can stay with us tonight. I'll even have the cooks whip up something for you. That's not why I'm here. What was that? I'm not here for you. Heard you. Her. Ruby is somewhere in Mistral. She's with Crow and she's going to need my help. I just need you to take me to her. And why would I do that? Because we're family. Family. Only coming around when they need something. I have to say, I'm disappointed. After all, you found me, didn't you? 
Why not take that drive and use it to find your little sister if she really means that much to you? I kind of... You're going to save me time. I kind of need Ruby your help, too. To Mistral, but there's no guarantee she's made it there. Looking for her in Anima could take ages. But Dad told me how your semblance works. Time. Yeah? You could bond to certain people. And when you do, you could create a portal that takes you straight to them. You've yep. got one for Dad, one for me, and you've got one for, for Crow. Crow. He promised me he'd watch out for Ruby before he left. And I trust him. So, make a portal to my uncle and sister, and I'll be on my way. You know, it takes real strength to march in here and demand such a favor of me. I've got to say, I'm impressed. It's very noble to want to help out your sister. But if she's with Crow, then she's already a lost cause. What does that mean? Yeah, you there's... don't want to get mixed up in all of that. Clearly, yet. uh... Ozpin is not the man you think he is. And Crow is a fool for trusting him. There's clearly some issues... I would know. I trusted him once, between too. Between she and Crow. I don't care what you think. Your choice is your own. All I'm suggesting is that instead of getting wrapped up in something too big for you, for any of us, that maybe you take a moment to wonder if you're already where you belong. Save your breath. You could spout off whatever you want, but nothing is going to keep me from my sister. Oh, aren't you yeah. stubborn? I get it from my mom. True. Very true. Well, if that's how you feel, then it sounds like we're done here. So we have Take an unstoppable force versus an immovable object, right? Are you gonna really make her fight again? Did you not hear me? Yeah. I said, send me to crow, damn it! That's enough! You watch your mouth in front of our leader! <laughs> Anyone else? Yang? <laughs> Weiss? You just now noticed? All right, well, subtlety is out. Yeah. You guys are outgunned. What is that? Don't worry about it. It's what a are you doing here? Well, that's my mom, and she could take us to Ruby. Mice, where were you Ugh. during this whole? Your mom kidnapped me. You kidnapped her. Mice, where the hell were you during this whole discussion between Yang and Raven? Enough! Thank you. If you people don't keep it together, this place will be crawling with Grim. Give the girl her weapon back. I still think that's our spring maiden. You two, in my tent. Now. <laughs> Why? Because I'm gonna really send going to send you to Crow. after your sister, then you need to know the truth. Uh-huh. I guess we all do. Or at least her side of it. Because... Sorry about that. <laughs> I missed you so much. Mm -hmm. I missed you too. Yeah, gang's about to be reunited. I think. We do have to hear what Raven has to say, though. Now, like I said, she's either going to tell them the truth or her side of the truth. I'm not sure which. 
Guys, it's 2.25 in the morning as I'm recording this right now. I have the worst case of insomnia. It's, it's ridiculous. I definitely got time for one more. And I think it's going to be an important one. But you're going to have to bear with me for a minute because my video player has been a little bit sketchy this whole episode. I mean, I could obviously see what was going on, but it was kind of grainy and not completely um, rendered, so I'm going to shut it down and pick it back up. shouldn't take too long. But, um, yeah, like I was saying, I'm, I'm really interested in what Raven has to say uh, because I don't know what version of the truth we're going to see here. Yeah, I'm looking at these episodes, I'm looking at this video as, as it plays the intro. Alright, I'm going to try one more thing before I... Um, if, if this doesn't work, I'm going to stop the video and kind of reboot everything and then start again. So, just bear with me here and more technical difficulties with my crappy computer. This episode's called Necessary Sacrifice, by the way, which is really interesting. Alright. So... Okay, it's not the... it's not the computer. I don't think. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. Okay. I'm going to pause this. I'm going to reboot this thing, and uh, then I'll finish, because we got more to see. All right, back in a bit. All right, I'm back. Finally, we got everything worked out, and we are ready to jump right into this. Uh, volume 5, Episode 5, A Necessary Sacrifice. We're going to find out what Raven has to say. So here we go in 3, 2, 1, play. Fairy tale back to the show, back to the wall, and there's nowhere to go. Things are bleak and they're bound to get worse. Right. Boop. Yeah, I can't, uh, can't wait to see this development here, but I hope it goes right into it. There's so many different plots going on, I wouldn't be surprised if it jumped over to one of the other two or three that's currently going on. We haven't, we haven't visited the villains in a while. We haven't visited um, Adam in a while. It could jump off over to that, but it does look like the it does look like the plot lines are starting to converge again. Because we did see where um, you know Blake's dad has called on them to go to Mistral. Okay, so we're back in uh, Menagerie. <laughs> not gonna get to okay. see it right away. Are you ready? I've beat up on giant monsters and robots more than once. I think I can handle getting a few signatures. We'll see. Are we signing a petition? Your chieftain needs you. Your people need you. Please join the fight and help us save Haven Academy. It seems like Are you they're... kidding me? We'd love to have someone with your skills on our side. Mata. <laughs> seems like we're very torn here. Get back inside. Mom. You're not going anywhere. Oh, 
Hard to get that first signature for sure. Signing that, of course, signing that scroll is potentially signing your own death warrant too. If anyone was to get that from Blake or her son, that was to fall into the wrong hands, then the enemy, the White Fang, the bad White Fang, has a list of everybody to go kill. So, even if they, I don't get it. How can they just sit around and do nothing with the White Fang getting ready to attack? Because not everyone is like you and me. The Faunas here on Menagerie, the ones that weren't born on the island, moved here because they were tired of fighting, of having to struggle constantly. Mm -hmm. Menagerie is filled with people that just want to be left alone. And here we are asking them to put the rest of the world before themselves. I guess I never really thought about it like that. Yeah. The problem is, Whatever happens at Haven is going to affect them whether they like it or not. If Adam gets his way and Haven falls, it's only going to make things worse for the Faunus. Everywhere. Adam. I don't know. Uh, He's I mean, the guy you used to work with? Uh, yeah, something like that. Yes. Sorry. Forget I brought it up. No, it's okay. Have you ever met someone and thought to yourself, they are the personification of this word? Uh, Those are big words okay, well, for son. I remember getting to know Ruby and thinking, this girl is the embodiment of purity. After a while, I saw Weiss was defiance, and Yang was strength. What am I? Jury's still out mm, on that one. Yeah. But I'm leaning towards Ernest. It's not bad, considering the other possible options. At first I thought Adam was justice. Then I thought he was passion. But over time I realized I was wrong. He wasn't any of those things. He was spite. Not hatred, yeah. not rage, spite. He won't accept equality, only suffering for what he feels the world did to him. And his way of thinking is dangerously contagious. That's what worries me about Ilya. Yeah. She's not like Adam. Not yet, at least. But I don't know how long it will last. She was your friend, huh? She was. That's the thing about equality. If Her you want equality... Her meant she could pass as human. You have to be she able to... She could have lived to... a normal life if she wanted. You have to be able to accept... But she didn't. ...being I equal with the people that, that oppressed you. She lost her family in a mining accident. You have to be able to. You have to literally be willing to put that all behind. Like me, she was more or less trained on the road alongside other Faunus. She learned to survive, to defend herself. Few people are willing to do that. But as people like Sienna and Adam started to gain a following, she became more dangerous. I guess I did too. And I am listening, by the way. My parents tried to get me to leave with them, but I refused. I had Adam and Ilya, after all. We know we're going to have to face her eventually. I know. Yep. So, she knows. What are you going to do? I'm going to try and help her the way you helped me. Hmm? You showed me that sometimes you need to be there for a friend, even when they don't want you to be. I was drowning in guilt and fear. I tried to push you away, but you didn't give up on me. And I can't give up on Ilya. I it's about time don't I have saved my friends for once. If someone tries to push me away, I usually ah! let them. I may resist at first, but. You're really getting better, huh? Are you hungry? It's almost dinner time. Uh, yeah. That sounds good. I, I was really about to call it a night anyway. Gonna make us wait on so the Raven never conversation. Just the occasional small grin. Nothing like this, though. Wow, <laughs> you look like a natural. It's strange. I've only had this cane for a few weeks, but I feel like I've feels had it like for a you, lifetime. Yeah, feels like Longer. you know it, huh? Well, you kind of have in, like in a strange person. sort of way. I mean, uh, yeah, just a little. <laughs> but at this pace, you'll be combat ready in no time. 
Ruby, you almost don't seem like you grasp the situation completely. I'll see you upstairs. How do you handle all of this? What do you mean? I'm scared. That's I'm understandable. Scared than I've ever been in my life. I ever thought was possible. I always knew that I wanted to be more than a farmhand. This? Who would ask for this? We all went to Beacon because we wanted to help people. But you're right. None of us asked for this either. We just have to press on and How hope. can you be so confident? People have tried to kill you. The world's about to go to war all over again. How are you okay with any of this? I don't think she really thought about it that much. When Beacon fell, I lost two of my friends. Penny Polandina and Pira Nikos. I didn't know them for very long, but... That doesn't change the fact that they were two of the most kind-hearted people I'd ever met. But that didn't save them. Pira thought that if there was even the smallest chance of helping someone, that it was a chance worth taking. And because of that, she died fighting she, a battle she, she knew she couldn't win. Yep. Yeah. And Penny? Yeah, she walked right into her own death. Just to make a statement. Penny. I am scared. Penny's strange not though because for me. she was an android. What happened at Beacon shows that Salem doesn't but care if you're standing against her or not. She'll kill anybody. And that scares me most of all. Kira? Penny? I'd be lying if I said that it didn't hurt. That I didn't think about them every day since I lost them. That I didn't wish I had spent more time with them. If it had been me instead, I know they would have kept fighting too. No matter how dangerous it was. So that's what I choose to do. To keep moving forward. Yeah. Come on. If we don't hurry, Nora's gonna eat everything. It wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> well, you know, she needs a lot of food to keep all that energy this up. This isn't gonna be easy. But the fact that you're even trying says a lot about you. You're braver than you think. She really is remarkable, isn't she? Yeah. She must have been one of the best huntresses at Beacon, huh? <laughs> in some ways, yes. Yeah. But in many others, no. She, uh, she, she has her quirks, <clears throat> her she's faults, got a long just way like again. everyone else. But she also possesses something unquantifiable. A spark that can inspire others even in the darkest of times. That is true. That is must be really precisely hard why to... she was made a leader. It most assuredly is. Your thoughts? Alright, what do we got here? Are of no significance. If this is how High Leader Taurus wishes to proceed, then we shall make it so. Of course, brother. Still. Come in. Sister Ilya. Thank you for meeting with us. How may I be of assistance? Please, stand. We have wonderful news. What is it? We finally received a message from the Mistral Brotherhood. The operation was a success. Adam Taurus has claimed his place as the High Leader of the White Fang. Good. And Sienna? Varied with honor. The other branches yeah. of the Feng have been given the story that was agreed upon. 
A necessary sacrifice. We won't forget everything she did for us. Name of the episode. Indeed. Your maturity and understanding in regards to this matter is appreciated. And it is why we've summoned you here this evening. The White Fang is experiencing a transitional period. You can Growth say that. requires change. And change can be painful. If it's for the betterment of the farmers, Deadly then even. it's a pain we can endure. What's our next mission? Containment. With the CCT tower still inoperable, we have the luxury of control over the flow of information. News of Adam's ascension has yet to reach Menagerie, but when it does, the citizens of Kuo Kuana will undoubtedly react poorly now that the Chieftain has spoken out against us. Yeah. It's my fault the Belladonna's had any ground to stand on. Do not concern yourself with past failures, Ilya. Focus on the future. We have an opportunity for redemption. What do you need me to do? The Belladonna is the, the only threat to Adam's assault on Haven Academy. And so, they must be silenced. And she doesn't want to do that. Silenced? Like Sienna, they stand in the way of true progress for our people. We would never put such a burden on you alone, of course. Your brothers and sisters will be at your side. But your relationship with their daughter makes you an integral part of this operation. Blake? She... We know how close you were with young Blake. Yeah, Rest Blake assured, trusts you and you're gonna... Horus has requested she be taken alive. But we cannot risk having her present to defend her family. But the people of Menagerie... We'll come to understand what happens to those who speak out against the White Fang. And we'll be left without a leader until our victory is complete. Unnecessary sacrifice, Cecily. And you have to cooperate or else you're going to stand against them as well. She's right to worry about the citizens. It's possible they may come to see Gira as a martyr. It is a risk we must take for our high leader. There's enough of them elsewhere. I will not allow them to ruin this. The Belladonna name has brought me nothing but grief. You've done well in finding the deserter. Bring her to me alive. But not before you've slaughtered her family. I have a promise to keep. He seems unwell. He you carries think? with him a tremendous burden. Are we sure he is the one to lead us? For now. Are you we sure? We must do what is best for the Faunus. Interesting yes. to see him doubt. Brother Yuma, did you see Tagira's messenger? He rests beneath the waves, along with his warning. Hmm. Then all is well. Yeah, not good. Not good at all. So yeah, I was looking ahead to see that the next episode is called Known By Its Song, and that would actually make more sense. That that's where we would get Raven's story. Because, you know, birds, you know, Raven, Crow, and all that. I never got the chance to say that during this episode. There was never a chance to get a real word in edgewise away from the main plot going on, but... Yeah. Bad news. Bad news all around. Um, so yeah, uh, that's gonna do it for this video. Finally, um, this is absolutely as far as I can go with this video, so... Uh, yeah, it's like 3 in the morning. It's nuts. So, <laughs> anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this very long reaction binge watch in the middle of the night. Um, let me know if you did. Leave a comment. Uh, everything. Hope you guys, uh, yeah, hope you guys are having as much fun with this as I am. And uh, until next time, guys, I am Stickboy, and I will see you very soon.